the first morning and we're back on the challenge. It's freezing cold, but I've got a liter of Coke <laughs> that I packed out. So that's gonna warm me up, I guess. Everything's cold, cold McMuffin, cold Coke, cold disc of butter just because, but it's gonna be the fuel we need to get up this last couple thousand feet. 2,000 feet. Speaking of butter, we actually ran into Susie, who is now called Butter, because she was just chowing down on a stick of butter. <laughs> I thought that was the funniest thing. Like, that was just nor <laughs> normal. Look at this beautiful morning. The wind's not nearly as bad, the fog is gone, and we got a nice undercast of where we used to be. Much better today than it was yesterday. I'll take it. Crazy now. We keep talking to new people that we meet and people that we've met before to hear people that we know, like we've hung out with them before. Like, oh, so-and-so is like off trail now. Or, oh yeah, this group doesn't exist because most of them got off for an injury. Like that's kind of wild to think that people are out now. Like it's not the same as it was 150, 200 miles ago. But you know, the I think it's like 15 or 20% of people that start at the Mexican border actually make it to the Canadian border. A lot of that is people pushing big days too early in the season before their body's ready for it. So like we pushed a big day 25 mile or a couple days ago and we, uh, we're not gonna do that again for a little bit. 25 miles every day is in unsustainable. So we're doing smaller days and listening to our bodies and not going to be part of the statistic that doesn't make it to Canada. And second breakfast, we are having a McDouble. And a spicy chicken sandwich. Yay. <laughs> I was good. I've never eaten McDonald's again after this. I actually kind of like it. That's, that's all right. What a view. Finally found the snow. We are about 8,200 feet. Woohoo! So we made it to mile marker 362.6. Um, we are getting more patches of snow. So we're gonna go ahead and put on our micro spikes so we can get through a little bit faster. Sing it. I don't care about no snow. I don't care about no snow. There's no telling how far we'll go. There's no telling how far we'll go. We will never ever stop. We will never ever stop. Till we make it to the top. Till we make it to the top. Yeah. I'm a little scared of snow though. Ever since I got, since I got stuck in that post hole. Snow this is, is the part where people are taking the road walk down um but we made it up to the trail so we're gonna continue on to the trail no need to skip if we don't have to it's better to try it um there aren't many foot tracks on the pct route up here but so far it hasn't been that bad with micro spikes ah micro spikes um the ground is pretty hard still so that's great makes it easier to walk on We made it to Guffy Campground. We're gonna stop and eat lunch here. There are restrooms, a trash can, and picnic tables. Oh, we're in a trash can. It's all we need. Oh. oh, life is so good right now. All right, we made it to lunch. The last thing we have left is a Big Mac, a spicy McChicken, and then a sausage, a sausage biscuit. biscuit. We mm -hmm. have officially ate everything from the mcdonald's challenge that means this is all we have until we get picked up like five miles from here chris has been very determined to follow the trail and not the road so there's not many footprints out here uh we are using the far out app to guide us so wish us luck so we're hopping from snowdrift to snowdrift looking for that right there little pieces of the trail that aren't frozen anymore it's a bit of a scavenger hunt, but it's working out.
Chris doesn't have a trail name yet because he's waiting for something that suits him. I'm really wanting to start calling him the challenger because man, he is always pushing us to do everything that we possibly can to challenge us, including this. <laughs> this hasn't been easy, but we're making it through. He's kept us on trail, so I'm very proud of him. So we're getting our ice axe out for these steeper icy parts. Just for the off chance that you slip out. It's getting kind of slushy, so the sliding isn't as bad, but spikes and axes on these parts where the consequences are falling down long ways. So taking it slow, being careful, knocking the trail out. So we stuck to the red line uh, for the majority of that ridge walk as much as we could. I think we were one of the first people to actually go that way. There was one set of boot tracks and it was old. It was kind of hard to find. We were on the far right app almost the whole time. And we're not like red line purists or anything, but we did come out here to walk the trail. Like, and that includes the parts that are a little harder. It takes a little longer to go. It took us about an hour and a half to go that th two miles. So we're really slow on the snow, but that's why we're out here. Like, we're out here for the challenge. We're out here to prep for the Sierras, which is gonna have a lot of that, the steep ice axe uh ice axe out spikes out go slow uh stick with your buddy so I, I don't i don't regret doing that i know a lot of people go around stuff like that but that's kind of why we're out here to get the challenge and, and definitely to prep for the sierras that's that's going to be a big part and this is perfect practice like the jacinto range is perfect practice this is perfect practice baden powell tomorrow is perfect practice for snow gear that we we don't have a lot of experience with so we're trying to Get as much as we can before we are stuck in the Sierras. You have to get to the next pass or the next valley before the sun goes down. So I think we're doing good. We're slow, but I think we're doing good. I think we made the right choice doing that today. All right, update. We are 2.4 from the roadhead at Inspiration Point. We are at the point where the PCT crosses to the south side of the ridge, like 366.7, I think, mile marker. Uh, I don't see any snow on the south side. We didn't see anything climbing on the south side this morning. So as soon as you go on the north side, though, it is consistent snow. We're around 8,000 feet still. So expect if you stick the red line, expect snow. If you take the road, the road's snow free. So it's an easy walk if you take the road. The road does parallel the red line for a long time. But if you take the red line, it is full snow gear. It is deep drifts and steep, steep, steep for about two miles until you get to uh, guffy campground I think it is so yeah. it's no joke just take it slow but it's it's definitely doable uh, we and from we, guffy campground we definitely had to break out the ice axe and micro spikes yeah we definitely broke trail though so now there's at least a couple sets of footprints still incredible views now that we don't have a bunch of trees blocking them I think that mountain is San Antonio not Baden-Powell I think Baden-Powell is a little bit further up the trail, obscured by the ridge we're on. Look at that. We are coming down on a ski resort that is obviously closed, but they still got enough snow on this whole run. Man, could have skied down here. Would have beat walking. Would have been way faster. Pretty cool. Another ski lift. It's crazy with the snow gone how far of a drop the chairs get to the ground. It's so funny. That's a pretty big little resort though. We've been walking around it for about a mile or two. Pretty neat. And we made it to Inspiration Point. That was a hard section. That's normal to eat a jar of sauerkraut, right? He's just like, I'm Are we happy to eat? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Yen. Just got to the Trail Angel's house. She put us up in this private cabin, so that's pretty exciting. Gonna get a good night to rest tonight. We ended up zeroing in Wrightwood at Carol's place. Super nice place. Uh, Carol and her husband, Dale, are super amazing people. We hung out with people that stayed here. We zeroed again with Gotta Go and Sunshine. We got this our own little private cabin here. Slept great last night. We're gonna sleep again. Uh, nurse everybody's injuries. Plan is to get back on trail tomorrow. Do a baby day, like a four mile day tomorrow. 
and then some at Baden Powell after that, the day after tomorrow. Uh, we ate a bunch of food today, hung out around a fire, uh, and one of the guys, pacemaker, made sh- uh, authentic Austrian schnitzel. So we had that with the f- everybody. That was really cool. But the plan is to get back on trail tomorrow, and we'll catch you all then. Good night.